ASPA studies, traffic accidents with moose are 13 times more fatal than that with other deers. Each year, more than 500 car accidents occur with moose in northern New England. The injuries, sustained by people involved in the accidents, were far more serious and fatal due to the weight and height of the moose. This is a serious issue that has also been reported in Canada and Scandinavian countries. The moose is the largest and heaviest living member of the deer family. When a vehicle crashed into a moose, it hits its long legs, leading the bulk of the animal into the windshield and roof. You might wonder how tall is a moose and may try to comprehend how big is a moose, which makes it so dangerous in road accidents. When you are aware of its height and mass, you will definitely avoid confronting it when you are traveling north or when camping in the wood. This video will give you a clear picture of its height and size, along with visual comparisons. Moose is the tallest living species of deer. According to National Geographic, it is 5 to 6.5 feet tall at the shoulders. The average height of adult moose at the shoulder ranges from 4 feet 7 inches to 6 feet 11 inches. The Alaskan subspecies is the largest and so the tallest among all the races. It stands over 6 feet 11 inches tall at the shoulder. Moose is the biggest species in the family of deer with a height of 5 to 6.5 feet at the shoulders. Their head and body are 7 feet 10 inches to 10 feet 2 inches long, while their vestigial tail is further 5 to 12 centimeters long. Males are heavier than females. Males usually weigh from 380 to 700 kilograms, while females weigh from 200 to 490 kilograms. Also, the weight of an individual depends on race or climb, age, and nutritional variations. National Geographic describes their weight as 1,800 pounds. The Alaskan subspecies is the biggest of all the moose subspecies, which has a 2.1 meter height at the shoulders, a 1.8 meter span of the antlers, and an average body weight of 634.5 kilograms for males and 478 kilograms for females. The recorded biggest moose was an Alaskan moose shot in September 1897 at the Yukon River. It was 2.33 meters tall at the shoulder and weighed 820 kilograms. There have been reports of even bigger individuals, including a male killed in 2004 that weighed 1,043 kilograms and another male whose weight was reported as 1,180 kilograms. However, these reports were considered unauthentic. When compared with humans, a moose is much taller than even the tallest humans in the world. Robert Wadlow of the United States was the tallest human ever at 8 feet 11 inch height. A moose is up to 6.5 feet tall at the shoulder, while an adult male human has an average height of 5 foot 7.5 inches. The Alaskan moose is more than 7 feet taller at the shoulder. When head and antlers are also measured, their total height reaches more than 10 feet. Even the tallest human cannot stand eye to eye with a moose with a raised head. The body length of an Alaskan moose is around 9.2 feet. It stands 6.5 to 7 feet tall at the shoulder. A moose has a body weight of around 618 kilograms according to National Geographic. Whereas, an average size Corolla Altis car is about 15.16 feet long, 5.82 feet wide, and has about 4.84 feet in height. It weighs up to 1,220 kilograms. So, when a moose is compared to a car, a moose is taller and heavier than a car. But a car is longer and wider than a moose. So we can say that a moose is bigger 
than an average size Corolla Altis car. Let's compare a moose to a horse. According to National Geographic, the height of a horse at the shoulders ranges from 2.5 to 5.8 feet and has a body weight from 120 to 2,200 pounds. So, in terms of size, a moose is bigger than a horse. And in terms of weight, a horse is bigger than a moose. That's all for now. I hope you have learned about the size of a moose. If you like this video, appreciate us by liking it, and do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos.